Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a clickable tip slash hint GUI, where every time you click on the tip slash hint GUI, basically it will change and then it'll give you a new tip. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go under the view tab and open up the explore and properties. After that, we're going to need to create our actual tip slash hint GUI. So to do that, you want to go under the starter GUI, which is under the explorer, and then click the plus and enter any screen GUI. Let's rename the screen GUI to tip UI. And then under the tip UI, just click the plus and enter in a text button. So this button is going to be our clickable like tip slash hint UI. Um, so depending on where you want your tip slash hint to be, you can put like at the bottom the top of the screen wherever you want just, just put it somewhere so i'm just going to put mine at the bottom and i'm also just going to resize the ui uh, until i like it so maybe i want the entire screen to be this big uh, so once you have the sizing done you can go into the properties of it and here you can change different things like the background color which i'm just going to change to a nice cyan color and then i'll probably just go down uh, into the text, uh, probably want it bold, and then maybe I want it scaled so that it fills up quite a lot of the text label. So one more thing that I probably want to do is go into the text button. I'm just going to click the plus and enter in a UI corner. This just gives the UI some very nice corners around its edges. So once you have your text label done, uh, what we want to do is go under the text button, click the plus and enter in a local script so now you can write what i write so first we're going to start off by writing some variables so local text label equals to script dot parent uh pretty simple um however in this case it's not actually a text label um it is a button so we can just rename it to local text button is the script dot parent then next up we're going to need a table for our tips so local tips equals and then put in these curly braces and then go down the line so what we've done here is essentially just create a table where we can store all of our different tips uh, it's actually very simple how our table works so for each tip that you want we're just going to put in a quotation marks uh, two of them just like that and then inside the quotation marks you're going to write out your tip for example maybe um, I want like maybe like they're joining the game and then maybe there's like a fun fact about the game that you can just write like fun fact uh, insert cool fact about game or like whatever your tip is you just want to write it inside the quotation marks and then when you're done you want to go outside of the quotation marks and just put a comma and then that that's it that that's that's one tip so if you want to add more tips, you're just going to do the exact same thing, but you're just going to go down one line. So I'm going to go down one line. I'm going to insert the quotation marks again, and then I'm going to add in like a tip. So maybe a uh, tip, uh, subscribe, you know, that, that's something that's a pretty cool tip. I think you should do that. But once again, uh, once we're done writing the tip, we're just going to put a comma and you can keep on doing this um, for every tip that you have. Uh, and then when you're done writing tips, just put a comma over the last one and then that's it. So right now, this is our table of tips. Obviously, you can extend this for however many tips you have. It can be like 100, it could be 20, it could just be three like what I have here. Uh, it doesn't matter because we're just going to be picking a random one from the table every single time. So now we're going to create a loop that shows players different tips from our tip table, even if they don't click on it. Um, if they do click on it, we'll just like, we'll cycle it manually. So we'll code the automatic part first. So to do that, what we can do is while task dot wait, and then inside the wait here, you can put in how many seconds you want it uh, before it cycles through the tips. So maybe I'll just do like five to represent five seconds and then do after that, go down the line and then write text button dot text equals to tips and then square brackets and then math dot random inside the regular brackets put in one comma hashtag 
and then tips. So what we've done here is every five seconds, we're going to change the text of our text button to a random tip from our tip table. So that's the automatic part down. So now we're going to write out the manual part. Uh, if we want the manual part to work, we actually have to put it above our loop that runs forever. So it won't ignore everything that's under it. So in so just above our while task dot wait loop, we're just going to write text button dot mouse button one click on connect function and then put in brackets and then go down a the line and then you can copy um, what we've done inside the loop because we're doing the same thing It's just we're going to run it when they click on the text button. So yeah, that is the entire script. Uh, I'm just going to quickly add a little bit more tips um, in case it accidentally chooses the same tip twice. Uh, this is just for demonstration purposes, though. It will work if you only have like two or three tips. Uh, however, generally, if you have more tips, uh, it will work better because the chances of it choosing the same tip twice in a row is a lot lower. And now that I've added a few more uh, totally real tips, we can go test it out. So here I am inside the game and as you can see um, right now it has a tip um, subscribe and it just changed into cheeseburger which is another tip from our tip list. So every five seconds it's going to choose a new random tip from our tip list. If I click on it it will also randomly choose a tip from uh, the tip table. So if I keep clicking on it it will keep giving me different tips. And of course in the background the automatic one is still running. Uh, now, if you don't want the automatic um, tip selector to run, you can just delete uh, the while task.wait loop, just everything that I've highlighted here, just completely delete that and you should be good to go. So without the automatic one, um, if I just click on it, it's going to choose a new tip and it's going to stay that um, forever until you click on it again. So yeah, that is it for this tutorial. If you liked it, Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!